guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to the finale of Horimiya. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Yuki. Oh my god, seriously? Huh. See, that's smart. Like, you take something home with you every single day so that when the final day comes, you have little to none. I hate the fact that this show is over, like, uh, some bullshit. <laughs> I don't want this to end, like, can we have continued this for, like, 12 or 13 more weeks? Like, yeah, we would have been fine. So it should have been, like, a 20-something episode series to go through, like, everything, the ins and outs. But biggest thing that I'm kind of hoping for in this last episode after the graduation a flash forward to the future like they don't have to if they don't want to I get it but it would be nice to see them a little bit older as adults doing their everyday jobs and ish like that still kind of hanging out it would be nice but who knows how the hell this show is gonna end this show is probably gonna end up making me cry in this final episode I have no tissues so mm, don't do that please <laughs> I don't want to be a mess tonight. <laughs> I was already a mess on Thursday. I don't want to be a mess today. <laughs> Do you want to just go to the zoo as your last, like, group trip or something? Yeah. Oh. 
Yeah, what are you avoiding? No, there's something you just are avoiding it. Just tell them, like, God. Do we have to force that out of her? You love the fact that they have plans. Like, it makes you wonder if, like, Kyoko and the rest of them, if they have plans to hang out. No. Oh. I hope he grows his hair out again. He just looks so good with it. I'm sorry. I'm just a girl who likes a guy with long hair. It would have been so different if no one knew each other.
this was so good, damn it. Like, oh my god. I don't know why, but it kept reminding me of, like, oh god. Okay. Mm, I want to eat your pancreas. That one other series, that movie that I watched with my mom, where, you know, like, typically it's the boy meets girl. They fall in love. Something usually happens to one of the love interests, and then they usually just, you know, changes one of the characters. But, you know, in this... Oh, thank God no one died, because, oh, that would have hurt my heart if someone would have got killed mysteriously in the end. But, like, uh, this was such a really good series. Like, oh, I hate the fact that it's over, because, like, it, it's messed up, because they could have continued it into a second season or, like, the second half of a series. But, no, I get it. <laughs> But it's sweet. I'm really honestly going to miss this show and watching it like every Saturday because this was just so damn good. And like just the lessons that I think it taught all of us, the memories we're going to have with this show. I know a lot of people are probably going to buy the crap on this show when this comes out to the West and such. But of course, we got to wait such a long time. But I, I know it's going to be hella expensive because, you know, Aniplex in their BS. It, it's like that. But yeah, this was such a damn good show. I love the fact that, you know, th this was the type of show um, back and forth. Maybe laugh, maybe cry, maybe get angry, yada yada, this is that and the third. I will say, if there was maybe one episode I didn't like, it probably had to be episode 11. I think that was my like most least favorite episode. I enjoyed it for what it was, but I think that was the episode that just didn't feel like it even though I w it was necessarily to the plot, it, to me, it didn't feel all that necessary. It, it almost made me feel like it was a filler type episode. Because there have been many other shows that I've seen that kind of have done that. And it just felt like so out of place by the time I finished it. And I didn't realize it until I rewatched the episode that same day after I finished it. And I was like, yeah, this just felt so weird and out of place to me. But honestly, this was just a damn good series. I hate the fact that, you know, like, I'm not going to hear, like, <laughs> these two talk together again and stuff. I mean, you know, I am going to hear freaking <laughs> Ease Me and something else next week, which I am super duper excited because, of course, he's playing my other emo boyfriend and I can't wait to see him again and everything that he's going to do and such. But, like... I love like the last little bit because he was saying goodbye to his older his younger self and what a person who he once was and now he's moving on as a different person with Kyoko and you know it would have been nice to see like a fast forward but I get the fact that yeah maybe they didn't have time to do it in the budget maybe um if the creator of this series also had like some say in this maybe he or she possibly didn't want that for the final episode of this show I get it but it would have been nice how I you know I would love an OVA or something for this show I mean it, it probably maybe is or isn't in the works who knows but it would be nice to see something else with these characters where they're a little bit older and they're a little bit wiser and everything and then they kind of look back on when they were kids and everything will be really nice but who knows what the hell they'll possibly do for this but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards the series what do you mean if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the matchup squad and of course i will see you guys officially out <clears throat> next Saturday for whatever the heck I have next week because I don't really remember what the heck I have next week. I just know I'm going to be busy as F next week. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!